Howdy folks, AJ coming at you again, your resident vintage gamer, and it's beer 30. Tonight's selection is the Devastator by Wasatch Brewing Company. And this is what it looks like in the mug. Cheers. And the reason it's called the Devastator is it is a uh, it's fairly strong. It is eight percent by volume, and uh, it, it it packs a little bit of a kick. So uh, I've already had a a few Guinness tonight, and I thought, what the hell? I will turn on the uh, the webcam and have one more beer, and uh, just shoot the shit with uh, my viewers. So today's uh, today's topic will be, let's see, um, oh, I know. Uh, I had a new, my wife and I had a new fridge, refrigerator, uh, delivered today that we bought at, uh, at Best Buy. And uh, I know what you're all going to say. What in the hell are you doing buying anything from Best Buy? Well, I did not uh, listen to my my gut instinct. Um, I went ahead and got a refrigerator from Best Buy, and of course, when they delivered it today, they uh, they scratched the shit out of it while they were delivering it. Not only did they scratch it, but once they got it installed, uh, it teeters, rocks back and forth because it's not level. And uh, of course the, the uh, delivery guy did not have any idea how to level it. He got down there and dicked around with it, you know, for a while and pretended, but he had no idea what he was doing. And then he finally said, you know what, I don't know what else to do. And so I basically said, "Well, okay, just get out of here. We'll just we'll just mark it down on the sheet that it's 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 got a scratch on it, and uh, and you couldn't level it." And then, of course, I called the store and said, "Hey, what are you guys going to do to make this right?" And their answer was, "Well, we're going to offer you a ten percent discount because they scratched it, and uh, we'll have somebody else uh, who's qualified." come out and, and actually level it and get it to so it's level and it's not teetering, rocking, you know, back and forth. So um, so that's where we are and we're waiting to see if we get our 10% credit and uh, I, uh, I wish I would listen to my gut because uh, I've never had a good experience with Best Buy and I don't know why, for whatever reason, I thought, well, if we get an appliance through them, then maybe it'll be different, but no. Still sucks. So, in any case, um, other topics. Um, I've been playing Borderlands 2, and uh, I know I, I'm always behind the curve because I always buy these titles when they're on sale on Steam uh, rather than paying $60 for a title right out of the gate. I usually wait until, you know. Steam has a sale, and I get them fairly cheap. But I gotta say that it's uh, it's a everybody already knows it's a very well done title and everything. And uh, I'm gonna do some uh, some uh, multiplayer, some co-op tonight with a couple of my buddies. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, I am uh, enjoying it uh, quite a bit. I, I do have one comment about the um, about the trend of going towards DLC, downloadable content, for a lot of these Class A titles. Um, so, I, you know, whenever I bought Borderlands 2, it was a while back, and it was on sale. And uh, so I, I think I got a, a fairly good deal. I think it might have been 20 bucks when I bought it. But uh, today... I went on there and looked at the DLC 
and there's so much DLC available. It, if I was to purchase all of the DLC, it was something like $139 for all the DLC. So I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I don't know if it, it, well, it would appear that companies are intentionally um, designing games to put them out at a $60 price tag knowing that they've already designed, I mean, they've already got the content for DLC. They've already got it developed and ready to go. And they want to charge you now an extra five bucks or ten bucks or whatever, you know. And I don't know how I feel about that. I know they have to make a profit. I know that there's issues with piracy where they're trying to still make money even though there's game piracy out there. Um, but a hundred and thirty nine dollars worth of DLC if you I mean there, there must have been forty or fifty different little you know DLC packs for ninety nine cents a piece and then some were four ninety nine and, and nine ninety nine you know and it added up to about hundred and thirty nine bucks and I'm thinking that seems a little extreme now mind you you know I, if the game came out of the gate and it was say nineteen ninety nine, twenty bucks. And then they had all this different DLC, kind of like a, a menu, a la carte menu, where you could add all this different stuff. Okay, I could, I could see that. But when they come out of the gate and they're charging sixty bucks to start, and then they're adding all this DLC like that, I, I don't know. I don't know maybe it just it, it could just be me. It just kind of rubs me the wrong way. But, good strong ale, I don't really care. So, anyway, I just thought I'd uh, turn on the webcam, have a little beer 30 with you guys. And uh, I'll log off now and we'll, uh, I'll go do some, some uh, co-op multiplayer uh, with our buddies. So, until next time, we'll catch you guys on the flip side.